and I'm, I just mentioned this, uh, you're dealing with a foe, right? Uh, they are sitting, oh, we built the Three Gorges Dam. We're going to build the world's biggest dam on the Brahmaputra shortly. We've created, I don't know, dozens of islands, uh, you know, from nowhere in the South China Sea. And the large part of Chinese territorial expansion, South China Sea is an example. Uh, for people watching the broadcast, uh, a lot of offshore islands in the Taiwan Straits are another example. And now Ladakh, Tibet, uh, down to the borders of Arunachal have become examples. So the ability of infrastructure has been a key proponent of Chinese expansionist strategy. How does then this be countered with an equal response? There is no doubt, uh, Risha, for a long time, the need has been felt uh, to match up, or at least try to match up uh, this rapid build-up of infrastructure from the Chinese side uh, in, in, in the printed area of the government, which, uh, which very clearly facilitates uh, both mobility and uh, intensity in terms of bringing bigger equipment to the printed areas much faster. Uh, and that need hasn't felt all the time, uh, you know, especially during the last one year. Uh, but I think it's important to underline that um, other than these 60 uh, infrastructure projects uh, of the uh, DRO, uh, the Defense Minister's visit is, I think, uh, much more significant. Uh, if you remember, Chinese have done dozens of joint military exercises in the last year of pandemic. They have done several one after another training exercises uh, in the frontier areas. Uh, they have deployed large numbers and then sort of done sorties and other things. India has also done likewise. But if you are reading the quotes, India has recently added on about 50,000 troops on the northern border, 20,000 of them, I think, in the third sector. Uh, so there is some assessment being made, uh, uh, especially the defense minister. Uh, on the ground, making his assessment, also doing moral boosting. If you see, he's meeting veterans, he's meeting the representatives of uh, field development councils. So, in that sense, uh, given the fact that now we are in summer months when uh, mischiefs have usually happened uh, uh, from the Chinese side, and there's a constant intention, uh, 11 rounds of court commanders meeting have led to nothing. Yes. So, 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 I, no, so I assume that it's a big assessment of what is happening on the ground. Yeah, so a, a part of this, of course, is, is operationally uh, needs to be kept quiet. But some of this not only needs to be done, it needs to be seen to be done as well, very publicly with, you know, literally bugles flying of what all we are doing. Uh, so the other side is also aware that uh, that its, its developments are not going unchallenged. And this becomes fundamentally important. But... Uh, uh, Dr. Swan Singh, you know, just to take away from what you were saying, uh, not only is the defense minister, the fact that all the, I think all the border state or the principal border states all the way up to Sikkim, the chief ministers have also convened together. Uh, what does this represent?